And uh, let's go live to Kamloops right now. David, you arrived in Kamloops on Sunday afternoon. What is the community like tonight? Uh, you know, the community, it's going through those stages tonight. Actually, it's very sobering to be here where the memorial set up. Uh, at first, you know, we saw the fear. Mitch described what it was like to hear the bangs in his neighborhood. He lives just a few doors down. Uh, and then we heard from Faye about that pride in her community. And we saw uh, at that honoring ceremony, there was a little bit of joy where people came together uh, to celebrate Captain Jennifer Casey. Uh, and now we're sort of back to that stage where uh, things are, are, it's a very sobering experience here and, and people are, are returning here to uh, to essentially pay their respects it's quite quiet uh, Kamloops really is a tight-knit community uh, you know let's let's have a look at the memorial that's behind you that's uh, that's really gone up in the last 24 hours or so give us a look at what it's like tonight in the last 24 hours, uh, this memorial has more than when, more than tripled. You know, when I first got here, this probably took up about three of the fence sections, uh, and now it just goes on as far as the eye can see. Uh, I'll just give you a little bit of an idea there. And it just keeps growing. This morning, it was probably about a third the size, about 100 feet. Uh, and then towards the afternoon, we were looking about 200 feet. Now we're probably looking at about 300. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and turn the camera a little bit more this way. Uh, we can see that the actual stream of people coming in to pay their respects hasn't stopped. Those cars keep turning over. Cars come and they go. And it's just not stopping. It's continuing to grow here tonight. And what's interesting, too, for people that maybe don't know Kamloops is that this is located, you know, that, that's Tronk Hill Road that leads towards the airport. It, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a drive to get to that location, uh, but but this is a, a steady stream of people who just want to come and talk and share their respects and, and and support each other during a time of grief. It really is, and you kind of talk about that drive. This is probably about as far as a drive gets here in Kamloops. Uh, it really is kind of you know what people here think of as being on the other side of town, uh, but that's really not stopping anyone at all. All right, David Zura, thanks for that.